That's another shot. Pass out the back. And then 2 0. 2 0. 2 0. Head. Yeah! Come on! Get in there! Get in! What's up, guys? It is better. Welcome back to another video. Today is Sheffield Wednesday versus Norwich City here in Sheffield at Hillsborough for another home game for the Owls. The third to last home game of Wednesday season. And uh, yeah, we're playing a, a mighty side in Norwich City at the moment, just uh, off the back of a 1 0 win to their bit of rivals, Ipswich Town. Uh, on the weekend, but yeah, they're pushing playoffs. They're going to want to solidify playoffs with a massive win today, so it's going to be very tricky for the Owls. I probably don't see us winning today, but I really do think we can give Norwich a good game. Um, Norwich's away form is pretty poor, if I'm being truly honest. It's not great. Uh, they do get a lot of their points at home, so hopefully we can play that to our advantage and maybe it plays a part in today. Maybe we can even take some points off uh, off Norwich today, but yeah. Um, just as I said, it's going, to be, it's going to be tricky. They're a great side. They're sat in sixth. Uh, potential to go even higher. So I'm not sure how it's going to pan out today. Especially with no Pervader. I don't know how it's going to pan out. Uh, but all we can do is hope, trust in Danny Roll. Hope he picks the right team. And hopefully Wednesday can get a result today. But yeah, I'm going to go with a 1-0 win for Norwich. I think, we just, I think there'll be a goal in it today. Either way, I reckon. More likely that Norwich will win, but if they do win, I reckon it'll be by just a goal. I reckon it'll be tight because we've got a lot to play for here. Uh, we're still in the relegation fight very much so. And if we do win today, we do have the potential of going out of the relegation zone. So there's a lot of incentive for us to, you know, properly go for the game and go out Norwich. Let's move on to my team prediction through the Fan Hub app. Right then, guys, on the left here, you can see is my predicted side through the Fan Hub app. And in goal, we've got James Beadle. Uh, got a back four playing the same as we did at QPR. I didn't think we should change a winning side. Uh, although I did put Paul Valentin in. So I put, uh, you know, Femewo, um, Ehequa, Bambo and uh, Paul Valentin because uh, I offer played a whole 90 minutes. So I'm not sure if he could uh, do it again a few days later. So just, just, just for a rotation reason. And I do actually prefer Paul Valentin. I put him at right back. And then I've gone in the midfield, come with Bannon and uh, Palmer and then my, uh, my my front four kind of thing is Masaba, Gasama, Windass and Ugbo. I've also gone for my poacher point as Ugbo in case he scores today and I've gone for a booking bonus on Barry Bannon because you know he's that man of passion he's always picking up yellows here and there so yeah hopefully some bonus points there if those two do come through. If you guys want to get yourselves involved and predict lineups and more through the Fan Hub app Make sure to click my link down in the description and join FanHub and use my discount code or golden ticket code on the screen here to skip the queue and get yourself straight on the app. You can predict lineups, predict games, check into games, earn the fan fee points from that. Use the fan fee points you get on the FanHub store. Also, guys, if you want to join my hub on FanHub, it's also linked down in the description below. Anyway, let's move on to Danny Roll's team. Right then, guys, I have received Danny Roll's team. The team news is out in goal. We've got James Beadle. We've got a back four, Iorfa, Bambo, Hequa, and uh, Famewo. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty much what I said, but uh, no Valentin. Iorfa's playing again after the 90 minutes he played on Saturday, which is fair enough. Then Palmer and Bannon in the midfield. Then Windass, Masaba, Gasama, and Smith. So, I was two off there. I put Valentin in for Iorfa. And also, Ugbo seems to be out injured of some sort, so Smith is playing another game. Uh, but he did play well against uh, QPR, so I'm not too not too um, unhappy with that. Uh, yeah, on the bench we've got Dawson, Valentin, Pedersen, James, Hendrick, Passon, Volks, Fletcher and Kadamarchi. So yeah, it seems like Ugbo and uh, Paveda are both out injured now, which is a bit of a blow, obviously. Paveda, we knew about that against the QPR game, but Ugbo one comes as a big, bit of a shock. I had no news on that, he's just not involved. Who knows, he might, he might just be ill. That's the thing, you don't know, so haven't got any news on it at the moment, but uh, hopefully it's not too long, hopefully it's not too serious, hopefully it's not till the end of the season, we probably do need him, he's a very good player. But yeah, I'm not I'm not actually, I'm happy with this team, you know, I've got nothing against it, it's a good team, I'm, I'm happy that we're bringing the game to Norwich as well, not just sitting back and sitting in with a five back, and uh, hopefully, you know, today we can just score some goals, uh, maybe outscore uh, Norwich and uh, get three points, but yeah, let's head to Hillsborough now. 
for the game. Come on, the Owls. Finally in the ground. Very late. Almost, almost missed the uh, walk out, but just in time. Six, Dominic Alpha. Number 10, Captain Barry Manor. 11, Josh Windass. 20, Michael Ahekwa. Number 23, Aguilar. Josh. What ball? Oh! Oh my god! Ashley Barnes just missed a sitter. Good save from Beadle, but we're trying to play out for the bat. We're too slow. We're too quick to press. We need to, we need to just move faster. One nil. That's terrible defending. Flicked on by Ashley Barnes. Josh Sargent's there to just fucking smack it in. That's shocking defending. Some of the worst defending I've seen all season. That. That's terrible. It was coming, they almost just scored a minute ago, and then they get the goal now. The promotion push in Norwich City. In full force there at Hillsborough. Come on, Wednesday. For again. Oh my god, what a save from my uh, from James Beadle there. We really need to step this up. This is poor defensively. They keep getting through really easily. Got a little water and food break here for Ramadan. Hopefully, means we can actually regroup and Danny Rock can fucking speak to the players. Bloody hell. We've been shocking. It's another shit pass out the back. And that's 2 0. 2 0. 2 0. Terrible out the back again. Beadle giving the ball away. It's gone straight to their midfielder and they've scored again. May next week's already left. Jesus Christ, man. So shit. So, so shit. Really, really shit. For, honestly, against some teams and in some games, I really think we need to try and abandon whatever we try and do when we play out from back. It just doesn't work. We can't face against a good side with a good press. We're just terrible at it. And they're just rubbing it. Fuck's sake, Wednesday. Fucking lost the ball again. Again. This is shocking. Lucky not to concede for that. Lucky there was no one there, man. Oh my god. Are you serious? We played all that good football just for fucking Miss Arbiter. Swat it. I'll play, my god. Fucking hell. Oh, back to him. Oh my days. Come on, man. Oh, to kill the game here from Norwich. Half time, boo! I'm doing that, that was terrible. That was really bad. Really hope Danny Roll has something to say at half time for those boys, because that was, that was unacceptable, that first half. Needs to be so much better in the second half, honestly, so much better. 2 0 down. Absolutely dominating as well. Needs to be better. The Wednesday uh, players are coming back out, but we're doing this thing with a load of Wednesday legs. I think we're going to have to leave it there. David Hurst, Terry Curran, the like. But at the same time, we've got three subs. Oh no, it's four subs. Oh my god. So, right, so, right, four subs. Right, Patterson, Paul Valentin, Will Volks, Pedersen, on for Liam Palmer, Bambo Diaby, Windass, and Gusama. Oh my days, so many subs. Come on Wednesday. This is much better from Wednesday. The, uh, the atmosphere is back a little. We're bringing the pressure to, to, to Norwich and, uh, oh, we should have had someone on the end of that. Yeah, we're looking much better now. That's shocking defending. Good save by Beadle. That was a great save. I don't know what we're doing. 
It's like we tried to play an offside trap, but it just didn't work. He's in there. Van and shoot. Oh, he's so off target, man. Come on, Paul. Yeah, he's one in the corner. Come on. Oh, my God, Bannon, that is some terrible corner. Yeah, Nunes stands over it. Similar position to uh, the goal against Ipswich yeah, a few days ago. <laughs> good save. Oh, good clearance. Whoa. Oh, just like that, they're through on goal to make it three. Oh, my. How has he missed? How has he missed? I mean, bar their two goals, that's the best chance of the game. We have got nowhere near it. Norwich finding it really easy to play around our high press here. It's just not really working. Go on, Pato! Go on, Pato! Finish it! Oh, for God's sake! We needed that. 70 seconds, 77 minute. we needed that to be a goal. Oh. Masaba off for Kalamatri. Probably the right substitution there. He hasn't... Every time he's touched the ball, he's done a few things, but he just keeps losing it. So, Benny Kadamarchi would bring that pressing presence. Hopefully, he could just win the ball back and we can get a goal. Four balls in there. Yes! We scored from a corner! Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on! There is hope. There is hope. It's 2 1. It's 2 1. Come on, Wednesday! Come on! Come on! Come on! We actually scored from a corner. I think it was Michael Ahekwa. Yeah. Come on! We need this. We need a point here. Come on, lads. We can get this. Bobby, Bobby. Ref, ref, that's a late challenge on Harvey. From, from Ashley Barn. He's already on a yellow ref. Come on. No bottle. No bottle. No bottle. Absolutely no bottle. Folks got a yellow for an off the ball challenge down here. I don't know how he's not just got a second yellow there. In there. Smith. Oh, corner. Come on. Oh, short corner to Paul. Back to Box. In there from Volks. Oh. Go on, Paul. Go on, Paul. Go on, Paul. Oh, come on. Come on. Another corner. We've had about five in the past five minutes. We scored from a corner earlier. Can we score another? It's in there. Head. Out of time, six minutes. We don't mind that. Kill the gun. No, yes. Well done, Ashley Barnes, you shit ass. Ah, one and beat all. Lovely. Go on, go on, go on. Run, Wolves. Run. Come on, lads. Up, 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 up. Up on, up on, up on. Come on. Well done, 2-2. Two, two. I'm very happy with that. Came from two goals down to get a draw, get a point. To be a very valuable point. Come on, Wednesday.
Well done, lads. Come on. Right then, guys, back from Hillsborough. What a game for the Owls. You know, first half, we were absolutely diabolical. You know, they went 2 0 up in 15 minutes. I was thinking, this is going to be a long day. You know, defensive errors as well, really, especially for the second goal. Beadle with a terrible back pass. No one, no one on it. No one even to win the ball back after that as well. And they just scored very easily. And I was, I was just sat there thinking, you know, oh, this is going to be such a long day. But. Uh, second half came out. Danny Roll made four substitutions. The bollocks on that man is crazy. But yeah, I definitely rate it because he went for it. He was having none of it because that first half performance was shocking. So he went for it second half. And uh, yeah, that's when the game turned on its head. Uh, we came out straight away, uh, pressing, you know, high up the pitch, putting Norwich under pressure. Then for about 15 minutes, the game slowed down a bit. And then we started pushing again, won ourselves a bunch of corners. I actually want to know how many men, how many corners we got in the end. But yeah, we ended up scoring one through uh, Michael Hequa. And then uh, 10, 15 minutes later, we score another through Michael Smith. Both the Michaels getting their heads on the back of a, a Will Volk corner. And uh, yes, yeah, so I just want to see Will Volk on every corner. Whenever Bannon takes him, I swear, it just doesn't get past the first man. But yeah, it, we were two corner goals and there it is. And uh, complete the 2-0 comeback to make it 2-2. Uh, I think a deserved point for Wednesday. We really went for it at the end there. And uh, I'm very proud of the team that we managed to get a point off a great side like Norwich. I mean, they showed their quality first half, absolutely decimated us. But we were also really bad first half. So yeah, it's, it is what it is. I think a draw was fair in the end uh, over our, over our, the whole game. So yeah, I'm just happy with it to get a point and uh, hopefully we can go again on Saturday against Stoke at home and hopefully pick up three points there. We could even manage to get ourselves uh, out of the relegation zone, but who knows? We'll save that for Saturday. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and hit that uh, notification bell to get notified every time I upload. But that's been it for me. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.